Traveling on a budget comes with a lot of sleeping in the airport. These are my favorite three, Las Vegas, Orlando, and Denver. Okay, we were boarding and they just came on and announced that the flight was canceled. I decided to buy the Frontier Go Wild Summer Pass for $499, which gives you flights at a discounted rate until the end of September. All right, let the adventure begin with the Frontier Go Wild Pass. This is my first flight. We're going from Minneapolis to Denver, and then from Denver to Las Vegas. My home airport is Minneapolis, which makes it a little difficult. Frontier only has one destination, and it is Denver twice a day. We have arrived in Denver, and it is hot. So I need to go change. The Denver airport connects to downtown Denver via the A-Line, which is a train that costs $10.50. I recently found this app called Too Good To Go that allows you to rescue unsold food from restaurants and stores. You can use the app to save surprise bags of surplus food from going to waste at an amazing price. I went to Tiff's Treats and I got a dozen cookies. They looked absolutely delicious. If you're downtown for a layover, always keep track of your time. TSA in Denver is the absolute worst, but be sure to check out the Talking Gargoyle. Hey, I'm talking to you. Can you close some eyes? Everyone always wants to crowd South Security, but if you go down past ticketing and go up to the second floor, you can go through bridge security, which will get you through so much faster. I got priority pass along with my Go Wild pass, so I'm gonna go check out the Mercantile for lunch. And if you have the time, you can go down to the B concourse and head to Sweetwater Mountain Tap House. The great thing about this location is you can get food to go, so it's a great spot to grab food for the plane. I landed pretty late in Vegas, so I just found a spot to go to sleep. I always bring my mod's coffee with me, and then I was ready to jump on the bus. Another great app that I'm pairing with my Go Wild Adventures is Bounce. This allows you to store your luggage at various locations for around $7 a day. There are numerous locations in almost every major city, and it's super convenient to store your luggage and not have to drag it around with you all day long. All right, I am bagless, you guys. That worked out so slick. All I had to do is bring in my bag, show them my QR code, and they got it all set up for me. Take a picture of your bag, and I'm not gonna show you the location, just for security purposes. I mean, people are storing their bags there. Don't worry, it's not that Motel 6, but it is in this area. I love that there's a location right next to the strip, so I have the freedom to move around without having to drop my bag off at a bell desk. Now, it's time for some lunch, and the food court next to MGM Grand has gotten so much better over the years. I stopped at Del Taco, and I got a carne asada taco and the original Del Taco, which are always good. Whenever I'm in Vegas in the summer, I always try and find the shortest route and try and stay inside as much as I can. So I cut through the Miracle Mile shops and stopped to watch the Tipsy Robot bartender. I'm a big fan of In-N-Out, but today I decided I wanted something a little bit more refreshing. So I went across to Ja Burrito, where you can get sushi style burrito wraps. I got the spicy tuna snack roll for $11 and it is more than enough to fill you up during snack time. That was absolutely delicious. Something light and fresh when it's so hot out. You can't go to Vegas without visiting Fremont Street. 
can wander up and down and stay cool under the Viva Vision. Inside the Fremont Hotel is Tony Roma's, and they have awesome nightly specials. The early special is the Prime Rib for $8.99. This is one of the best Prime Ribs I've had in a long time. I just couldn't resist stopping at the new Pink Box location down by the Plaza Hotel. They have over 70 varieties of fun, funky donuts. All right, let's try this caramello. It's got a caramel cheesecake filling, so. That filling is so rich. Wow, it's so flavorful and creamy. After checking out the attractions and food, it was time to get back on the deuce, head over to the bounce location, and pick up my bags. I headed back over to the airport, where I slept pre-security, and be forewarned, security will come by and harass you and ask you for your boarding pass. They have a lot of problems with homeless sleeping out there. In the morning, I went through security, and now it's time for me to go to my very first lounge, and I am so excited. So let's check out the club at Las Vegas. This is a lounge located in the D-Gates. They have a very limited salad bar, but if you scan the QR code, they have more items to choose from. I highly suggest the protein bowl or the pretzel with beer cheese. And of course, don't forget a beverage or two. And the beauty of unlimited lounge access is you can go from one lounge to another lounge with no wait time in between. So I headed over to the E-Gates Lounge. This quickly became one of my favorite lounges because they have a shower. And after wandering Vegas and sweating all day, nothing is better than a nice shower at the airport. There they have more of a buffet style service with a selection of sandwiches, soups, and salad. And of course, desserts and drinks. After some R&R &R in the lounge, it was time to board the plane again, and now I'm headed to Dallas, Texas. I've never been to the Dallas airport, but I had an overnight layover, so that gave me plenty of time to explore and rest my legs. They were getting a little swollen at this point, so I had to elevate them. After a few hours sleep, pre-security, I went back through TSA to explore the airport some more. The Dallas airport is really cool. They also have a lot of priority pass amenities, including this Sports 88 restaurant. Here I got a big Texas breakfast platter. There's also a Be Relax Spa, which is a great place to go and get a nice little massage after a long flight. They also have Gameways, where you can get a snack and a drink and play video games for an hour. They also have Minute Suites, where you can get one free hour in a quiet, private room. Then I headed over to the club at Dallas. And I gotta say, I wasn't really impressed for the size of the airport. The lounge was very small, but the breakfast was acceptable, and I was happy for free food. It's your basic continental breakfast fare with omelets, potatoes, muffins, yogurt, fruit, and oatmeal. <laughs> then it was time to get back on the plane to my least favorite airport, Atlanta. I like that all the terminals are accessible post security via a train. There's the Samuel Adams Atlanta Brew House that's part of the Priority Pass. They also have massages inside the Traveler's Oasis and a Minute Suites. And the lounge is located in the International Terminal. Wow, the club at ATL was packed. I get on a wait list to get in there, and then when I got in there, it was 9.30 and they closed at 10. But thankfully, I worked in uh, the restaurant industry for years, so I can eat really quick. So I had two little bowls of soup, I had some hummus, I had some pasta salad, down to beer and a coke in under 25 minutes.
Well, it's a bad day for flights. My flight from Dallas to Atlanta got delayed an hour, and now my flight from Atlanta to Orlando has been delayed an hour. You were doing so good. Three on time, two delayed so far. It's not very good odds. After finally boarding the plane, I was off to Orlando, my fifth stop of this go wild adventure. Orlando is one of my top favorite airports. One of the only things I don't like about Orlando is that you can't go from terminal to terminal post security. Otherwise, they have a great food court, nice wide open spaces, and plenty of comfy places to sleep on layovers. Now let's check out the club at Orlando. They had a very good dinner selection with noodles, sandwiches, and a variety of other snacks. They also have soup, flavored water, coffee, and sodas. I'm definitely getting my money's worth out of this Priority Pass lounge, and I'm loving every minute of it. The biggest perk is when the lounges have showers, especially when you're in a hot area. Nothing's better than a shower at the airport. Orlando to San Diego, a delay of about an hour, so average delay has been about an hour. An hour. This one was rain, they're blaming it on the rain, but who knows. Okay, we were boarding and they just came on and announced that the flight was canceled. I heard Orlando is like famous for canceling flights, so we're gonna blame Orlando on this one. So sorry. It's good, yeah. It's all good. The flight attendant was genuinely apologetic. So kudos to you. Again, I don't think Frontier had anything to do with this. I think this is the storm that came through, so. Alright, let's go. Alright, so my flight was cancelled. I did get it rebooked. I'm not going to San Diego. I'm going to go straight from Orlando, lay over in Denver for a couple hours, and then I'm going to Vegas because I have a night boat at a hotel there. So I need to get to Vegas by tomorrow. So that's the plan. But, you know, we're going to make something good out of the delay, and we're going to go to Waffle House. We're just going to get our order to go. Uh, because the bus comes back in like 25 30 minutes, so I gotta run in there, get some food, and get back over to the bus stop. So let's go. Like I said, I had to hurry up, get in there, get my food, and get back to the bus stop because that was the last run of that route for the night. A day pass in Orlando is only four dollars and fifty cents, so it's a great way to get around town. All right. So we're making something good out of a bad situation. We got some waffle house. We ordered some food too. We got two waffles. Eggs that are smothered and covered and hash browns that are smothered and covered. It's really nothing special, but you know, it's the fact that it's Waffle House and it's a southern thing and we're in Florida, so you gotta get Waffle House. But we got better breakfast than we could ever have gotten up there for. With a full belly, it was time to go to sleep. And I really understand this dude's pain. This is an amazing sculpture in the Orlando airport. Don't miss it the next time you're here. Then it was time to head back through TSA and head over to the lounge again. This was by far my favorite breakfast at the lounges. They have hard boiled eggs, yogurt, fruit, muffins, pancakes, bagels. There's also oatmeal, scrambled eggs and potatoes and cereal. Coffee, soda, and juices. So plenty of options to fill you up before you board your plane.
After the cancellation and having to spend another night in the Orlando airport, it's time to get back on the plane and head to Vegas via Denver. So, of course, I have to stop and get some free breakfast before continuing on my way. There were no issues on either one of my flights, and I arrived in Vegas. I'm so excited I get to sleep in a bed. The bed looks super comfy. Can't wait to sleep in a bed. It's been like a week. I've been traveling around. Let's go. We're going to go right next door and go to Snoop Dogg's Dirt Dog. I got a patty milk dog and headed back to my room. Dirt Dog is Snoop Dogg's hot dog place. They have a variety of hot dogs with funky toppings. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, it feels good to sleep in a bed. Oh, it feels so good to sleep in a bed. I left on Tuesday. And I've been traveling around the country, so it's been five days since I've slept in a real bed. And, oh. oh. Goodbye. Good night. Good night, and a new adventure begins tomorrow. After a wonderful night's sleep, it was time to once again head back to the airport. But this time, we're making our way home. Can't forget to make a visit to the lounge in Vegas before leaving. A flight to Denver with breakfast at the Mercantile. And then finally boarding the flight from Denver to Minneapolis.